Hey, what's going on everybody? This is kind of a strange week for me. This is like the third video in uh, about four or five days, so a um, little odd, but I think I'm going to start getting used to this. I'm going to try and put out a little bit more than uh, than I have been. Um, I can't guarantee it. Um, I would really like to be on a schedule so you guys can be sure to know when, uh, when my videos are coming out and you can kind of watch for them, but it's really hard to do with my schedule of work and home and school and everything. I just, you know, I got to kind of fit things in when I can. So I apologize for that, for not having a set schedule for, for things. Um, but I appreciate you guys sticking with me, even though I'm just kind of random about this. Uh, that being said, I just wanted to get into something really quick today. Um, I've been using Vim for, um, you know, about the past three and three and a half, four years or so. However long I've actually been in Linux, um, is how long I've been using Vim. Um, I used Nano very briefly when I first started learning Vim, or learning Linux, but um, quickly switched to Vim. And um, <clears throat> there's just so much about it that I like that you know it's it's just great. And but there's also a lot of stuff that I use that I think you know I wonder if everybody knows about this. And a lot of it I'm sure you do because this is pretty basic Vim stuff. Uh, but one thing that I really really like in Vim is this function I'm going to show you today. Um, and if we go ahead and launch a terminal and we are going to clear the screen, let's Vim into my sysinfo script, which is basically my NeoFetch replacement. Um, and we're going to go ahead and zoom in. Um, basically, I do a lot of reading of other people's scripts. Um, I'm trying to learn bash scripting on my own. Um, I am getting better and better as days go by, but I'm still uh, pretty new to it. Um, but I really enjoy just finding people's scripts and kind of reading through them and everything. And a lot of times I download them onto my system or I pull them onto my system and they get opened in Vim and I look at them through Vim and stuff. And um, not for any reason in particular mostly, but um, this is one thing I really like about being able to do that. And that is if you're reading a script and you know, you're going through and you're like, okay, you know, this is pretty interesting. And you're like, wait a minute, what is this here? Well, you know, and this is just an example here. I'm aware of what PID of is, and I'm sure all of you are aware of what a PID of is, but um, this is just going to kind of illustrate what I'm talking about. Say you're going through a script and you get to a, like a, uh, I don't know, a line that's got a command in it that you're not quite sure what that is or what it does. All you have to do is put your cursor underneath that word or that command and press Shift K. And what that's going to do is obviously it's going to open a man page for you. It's going to open the man page for that command and you can scroll through and kind of see, oh, okay, so the PID of is the process ID of a running program. So, okay, so that, that line right there basically is checking process ID of a running program. That's pretty cool. Okay, I get what that's about. And then you can just quit out of it and you're right back into your uh, into your script that you're looking at. You know, you can come down here and you're like, well, what's all the... You know, uh, let's say you were, you know, looking in that pit of, or actually let's go, what if you were looking here at printf? Okay, well, let's go ahead and shift K and we're going to go in there and you can see all the different flags here and all the different controls you have that you can use with uh, printf. And what that's good for is if you know what printf does, but you're not quite sure what all the stuff after it is, okay, what exactly is this printf function doing? Well, then you can hit the shift K, go into the man page and you can just see, okay, look at this. This is, so we have some, you know, we have all the flags here. We can just kind of go through and see what that whole command is actually doing. So it's really cool. I use this really often so much so that I really forget that I use it. And I just wanted to take a few minutes today and just kind of highlight this. I'm sure most of you are aware of this and everything. Um, but it is a greatly, greatly helpful tool when it comes to using Vim and going through bash scripts and stuff and figuring out what things do. So if you're going through a script and you're confused about a command or something and you just put the cursor underneath it and press shift K, it'll bring your man page up for that pro or that, uh, uh, that command and um, it'll really clear things up. So it's just a really cool function of Vim. Just another thing and another reason I love Vim a lot. And um, yeah, I'm just going to keep bragging on Vim and keep putting these little Vim tip videos out and I hope you guys enjoy them. That being said, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your week. Um, have a great, great, great afternoon and God bless.